NBC After Show, Matthew Perry starring in The End of Longing at the MCC Theater. <laughs> Opens on June 5th, but it's running right now. You can get tickets to previews and then Don't see the show in the room. I know. Don't speak with your mouth full. Um, Where's your manners? I am eating <laughs> a... Now he's finally attacking no, me. No, exactly. <laughs> um, Don't you listen to your mother? I eat, I'm eating a, 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 a deviled egg, Gordon. Get it all down here now. I am <laughs> so terrified. So we're going to cook together with my hands behind my back? That's yes. Just, yes. And I'm going to be tied to you yeah. and you're going to be telling me what to do? Yes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Gordon's show is our, the F word on Fox for May 31st. And Matthew, Master Chef, the same night. Behind the bar, it's John Stage. He's the pit master of Dinosaur Barbecue. Big job. See him at the Big Apple Barbecue June 10th and 11th, Madison Square Park. We got a couple of quick phone calls. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? It's Barbara Ann from Niagara Falls, New York. <laughs> hey, Barbara Ann, what's your question? <clears throat> Um, this is for Matt. I was wondering, who was the last friend you texted, and what did it say? I texted uh, Matt LeBlanc, and I said, what happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <clears throat> Top gear. Back yeah, to, um, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, he's doing great. He's doing yeah. a good job. Yeah. Uh, back to the phones. Call her. What's your name, and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Hannah from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Hannah, what's your question? Hey, my question is for Gordon. Okay. Were you surprised by how much black you got? For making your kids fly coach, <laughs> like you and your wife fly coach class. No, uh, listen. Um, I got to keep it real with the kids, and also I think just getting kids at the age of five and six and seven used to first class in those big seats. They don't need the space. They get entertainment you know, on their iPads. So um, I like to think about what you can do with the money when you land, rather than paying right. out thousands of dollars for eight, nine, ten-year-olds to sit in first class. I don't want them sat there with a ten-course fucking menu with champagne. Had... No, 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 no. I'm not embarrassed. And secondly, it is my wife and I's choice uh, right. to discipline them and keep them, keep them real. I had a boyfriend who I put in the back once, <laughs> and it didn't go well at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's not yeah, terrible. That's bad. I know. Yeah. I thought we had your own jet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have one more call? Call her, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Hi, my name is Emma, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, Emma, what's your question? And I was wondering, um, for Matthew Perry, what's your biggest theater pet peeve? Oh, you know, we were talking about airplanes. My biggest pet peeve is how long it takes the plane, once it's landed, to get to the actual gate. Yes, it's harder you can fly to fly all the across way the country New York to it's LA, great. and then it takes about six hours for it to right. taxi yeah. to the gate. And then they have to find someone to get the gate out. That makes it's me a whole mission, guys. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. What is your biggest theater pet peeve of audience members? The phones going off, the rappers. Oh, yeah, I was doing this play, and this play, at the end of this play, there's a very serious speech at the end of this play where I'm crying and I'm emoting and I'm being <laughs> quite a wonderful actor. Yes. <laughs> and the, and during it in London, the phone went off. Somebody's phone went off, and I was crying, and I just went, I'll wait till you get that. <laughs> and that drove me crazy. Right, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Um, what is the play about? Uh, the play is about uh, four very broken people who uh, find love, and the message of the play is how broken people can change and become better. And there's a very popular notion that people can't change. I don't believe that's true. I believe people can, and that's the message of the play. Um, would, have you written a book yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Would you? I Sure, tonight. Would you like me to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would. No, I mean, is it something that you think I've about I've thought about doing? it, yeah. yeah. I've thought about it, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, I want to thank Matthew Perry and Gordon Ramsay and our buddy of the barbecue is amazing. Thank you, John Stage. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.